Nanush Rosenberg has seen her share of rubble, about 750,000 cubic meters. That's how much has ended up in this landfill where she works, sorting the debris from Haiti's devastating earthquake two years ago. Nanouche is one of the 176 employees at the Truitier Debris Management site. Most people working here are former unemployed garbage pickers who now have a regular income. They work in two shifts, sorting the rubble, all that is left of hundreds of thousands of homes and buildings destroyed in the January 12, 2010 quake. The sorted rubble is crushed for future use in Haiti's capital and beyond. Come. Trucks carrying the rubble from Port-au-Prince into Tuitier pass a checkpoint which controls for content and weight. Drivers get receipts for the amount they bring in as proof to the companies they work for that the rubble has been delivered to the landfill. Après avoir identifié la compagnie, on, on doit on doit alors demander au, au demander au chauffeur la zone de bacage, alors la zone oui la zone de location, du moins la zone de location et puis ensuite il faut préciser la quantité de mètres cubes. The debris management site is run by the Ministry of Public Works with World Bank support. It's Haiti's only rubble disposal site to comply with international environmental safeguards. Haitian officials say this is leading other donors to invest in the large-scale debris clearance essential to accelerate reconstruction. C'est une catastrophe. Donc pour rester ici on devait être sous un arbre. Et parce qu'il n'y avait pas de bureau, il n'y avait rien du tout, il n'y avait pas d'infrastructure, pas de route, etc. Donc on a réalisé tout ça dans, 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 dans deux ans. En fait. Waste taken from Port-au-Prince's canals goes to the adjacent municipal landfill. Rubble from the debris management site is being used to cover the landfill and improve conditions there. As we continue to cover, it cuts down on the smoke, it cuts down on the dust, the vermin, have, uh, it, the odor and the vermin, flies, mosquitoes, rats, it's, it's almost come under control, which is odd for any landfill, especially in the type of situation we're in here. But it's uh, just a general improvement over the site altogether. Bernard Sorel collects rubble six days a week at Tuitier. He says working at the landfill is his way of helping Haiti to recover from the earthquake. Bon, quand même, parce que les noix fait triage, le moulin sable, quel que l'on soit, ça, sable à pral fait, ne peut se sentir payé à me croire que participation me la donne. And it's a way to earn a salary, he says, to meet his needs and those of his baby son.